Hello lovelies. Well today is uh, 23rd day of lockdown um, and today I've had spent the day actually listening to some podcasts and some YouTube stuff and there's one in particular that I came across and uh, there was something on there that I thought yes this is what I need to do and I've got the backing of my team I can feel them right there and they've said yes this is an important thing for everyone to do it's a declaration and I'll explain what that is about in a minute um, it's, this is to do with your own sovereign being so it's uh, a declaration uh, that I'm sending out now to the powers that be and to everyone actually uh, this declaration which I've written up which uh, is aligning me fully with my own sovereign being so it's completely detaching from everything on all levels from anyone else energetically and there's some physical stuff in there as well so as many of you are aware there is so much information going out on the internet and if you looked at my reading last night you would see that that there are some things that we're going through um, and it is so important for us to keep a really high vibration obviously we're all on lockdown and that in itself is extremely unusual life won't be the same as what we knew it to be before lockdown it will all get back up and running again but it will be different and in my reading last night it came out that there was going to be a lot of positive stuff and new beginnings and new things so i expect many of you have been watching um people like david ike and other people that are bringing out information about the cabal and what they are doing and um, all that stuff and about the one up from 4G um, and there's so much information out there now a lot of people believe that Trump is a negative player in all this well actually I don't think so before he even got in I knew he was going to get in I was getting the heads up from my team I knew he was going to get in and I knew he was going to make some changes that needed to be made. And he seems to be doing everything properly. There is so much in the press against him because the press is controlled. Um, there is a lot more going on behind the scenes that he is doing, him and his team and other people. One of the things that he is doing that I'm totally all for is he is trying to stop human trafficking, sex trafficking, child trafficking and all of that stuff. So if we look at everything from a spiritual point of view, we are all connected. So even these people that are doing these bad things still all part of the same soul collective so you, you can get weighed up with because you really don't like these people because of what they're doing um that vibration but you know that you you know they're part of you in a, on a spiritual level on a soul level they're actually part of you they might be the perhaps led have gone down the path of a more negative physical life but they are still part of us so the correct thing to do would be to send them love because love bombs if anyone watched my love bomb video best thing you can do send them love but the video that I watched this morning by another well-known prominent um, woman from the UK that's got loads of videos on different things, uh, it really resonated with me with what she said. And I think it's a good idea to do that. So this is basically what she said. And it's, 
it's so true. There are so many people that are only want to hear about the light and the good stuff, but actually you need to know about what's going on. Because if you don't know, you're going to get a big shock when things come out in the open, which they are going to. So it's better to find out the information, but don't be emotionally attached to it. That's all it is. This is how I do it. I watch all the information that happens to pop up because I feel that if things are popping up or things are being sent to me, then it's things that I need to look at. And uh, I will just watch. I don't have ju no judgments. Um, I feel into it. Does it feel right? And I, I just go with the flow because I know, I know in my heart of hearts that the light side of things is doing so much good in the background. There's so much going on. So it's important to find out the information. It's also important to do this, make yourself a sovereign being. That means your, your energy and your whole being is within yourself. You're not being uh, feeding your energy off to anyone else or anything like that. Now, a good way to do that is definitely this declaration which I'm going to read out in a minute. And I recommend everybody to do this. Find out the information that's going on first, do the declaration, and then after the declaration, we're going to be spreading out love right the way across. Once you've done the declaration, you're declaring that you are fully owned in your own sovereign being, in your own empowerment, your own power. You are not going to let anyone else take that away from you. And I'm going to... I'm going to go a bit more than what was mentioned on the video I watched today. I'm going to go through time and space because this is only one aspect of me. There are many, many more on a soul level. If you like, imagine like your soul collective is, I'm just one fragment of it. Uh, all living parallel lives, past lives and everything else. So... Through time and space, if you actually put that in the declaration, you are cutting off anything that has been feeding off your energy right the way down to the soul spark. And you're cutting it off and you're declaring that it's not on and you don't give permission for it. And it is so powerful by doing that. You don't realise just how powerful that is and it doesn't just go in this 3d dimension it goes through it ricochets through all dimensions all timelines it's extremely powerful so it's important for us all to do this whether you're a light worker whether you're a, you've been a light worker for a long time um, or you're just starting out on this journey or you just got an interest in all this sort of stuff. It's good to do this anyway. And sometimes um, we get wrapped up in the pure light and love of everything, which is there's nothing wrong with that. But there, there is always polarities. And once you've done this declaration, you have sealed your energy, your soul, if you like, that it is you. And it belongs to you only, no one else. And it, like I said, it goes through all timelines. So I would recommend that everybody do this. Look at the information that's out there so you know what's going on. You'll get snippets as, as time goes on about what else is going to come as well. Because there's going to be other things. Do this declaration and then... I'm going to follow on after the declaration and we'll, we're just going to do a big love bomb that's going to just go right the way through humanity, right the way through the planet and everything on earth. And, um, and that way we are, as a collective, also helping to raise these, the whole of humanity up. There will be people that decide that it's not for them and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But this will really, really help you on such a deep level, on a multi-dimensional level. So you can do it in your 
in your home on your own if you like, or you can get together with a group and do it. You can make it a ceremony and do it. Uh, you can do it in any way you like. You can just say it simply, as long as you mean it, say it, and then that's that's all you need to do too. Do it in your own way. So the declaration is, and I decree that this is correct and truth, and my declaration, so you can either say it along with me or you can um, listen to this video again and do the declaration yourself. But you can put other words in it too. You don't have to follow this exactly. This is just what I've written up quickly for myself. Again, I want to just say it's got a knock on effect through all timelines, all dimensions. So here we go. So I'm just going to read it. I do not give permission for any implants, vaccines, microchips to be given to me in any form, timeline or in any of my bodies, soul, physical, emotional or mind. So that includes mind control. I do not consent to any form of control over my entire being through time and space, all timelines and dimensions. I hereby decree this to be truth and to come into force from this moment on. There we are. That has a lot of power behind it. It's simple, it's easy. And I can feel in myself, it's almost like if I look, because I'm able to do this, I can look into uh, other dimensions within myself and I can see, it's almost like elastic, elastic sort of, tubes of energy that are pinging back to me from different timelines, different dimensions, where perhaps others were draining my energy without me knowing it, but I can feel it all coming back. And now it's a bit like an elastic band. It's been cut, so it's going, coming straight back in. That's what I can see and feel coming back into my own energy. So I don't know how long that will carry on for, whether it'll be just a few minutes or whether it will keep going because as we've said we've gone right through all timelines all dimensions um, so now what we're going to do is we're now going to focus on sharing spreading beautiful unconditional love so you really got to feel it within your heart expanding your heart energy out Taking in a deep breath, and as you take in that deep breath, seeing your heart frequency going out even further, going right the way out and breathing out. Again, as you breathe in, breathing in unconditional love and breathing out unconditional love. And just by doing the process of this, you are filling your entire being with unconditional love, which unconditional love is the most powerful frequency that exists through time and space. Unconditional love. So breathing in unconditional love and breathing out unconditional love. Now you can either build a ball of energy, if you like, you can do this with your hands, you can feel it, you can actually feel it getting smaller and then getting bigger. You can feel the energy building between your hands and you can get it out to be really big if you want, to stretch out, be a really big ball of energy. So we're breathing in that unconditional love and we're breathing out unconditional love. I'm filling that ball. And now we're going to expand that ball right the way out. If you like, you can see the ball being filled with a beautiful pink mist, which is unconditional love. 
seeing it spread right the way out, right the way through us as it's getting bigger and bigger and it's growing in size, going right the way out, down through the earth, wherever you are, and right the way out, expanding right the way out to encompass the whole earth. Again, we're breathing in unconditional love and breathing out unconditional love and feeling that even more now, making that more powerful. So that unconditional love will penetrate everything. It will penetrate all peoples, minds, bodies, souls and emotions. Flooding the whole of the earth and everything on her with pure unconditional love after we've done this declaration. Just feel how powerful this all is. It really is very powerful and the beings that are with us while we're doing it. Uh, and, and I'll just tell you this, which is another insight I got. All around planet Earth, at the moment, there are many, many different races of ETs. Interdimensional beings, transdimensional beings. There are many, many different races and they're all watching what's going on. So when we do something like this and expanding that unconditional love out to encompass the Earth, they are overjoyed that we're doing this because they know themselves how powerful it is. So if we all do this, imagine what we will build. It has been proven that groups that get together and do this type of energy work Maybe they build a dome over the city they live in of unconditional love. It has been proven that when they do that, the crime rate goes down. People start behaving a lot nicer because it really works. Now, I know groups that have done it over different cities in Australia, America, and the crime rate over these towns and cities has actually dropped. And if you go and visit, you can feel the light. You can feel it. So it really does work. So please, please share this video. Let's everybody do this. Um, it's so powerful. I, ca I can't express enough how powerful this is it may not feel like it but that doesn't matter it's actually working a lot of spiritual stuff you don't have to feel it's with you feel it in your heart you set the intention you've built the energy and it happens it's instant so I'm going to say cheerio for now much love from me and I will see you tomorrow I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet something that I'm being given. Um, so lots and lots of love and enjoy being that true, sovereign, multidimensional being once you've done this declaration. Um, what I might do is try and put it on the comments underneath this video too on YouTube so you can read it out if you like. So much, much love. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.